Equations that are quadratic in form are equations that either look like a quadratic but has some additional stuff, or two, it is an equation that has the highest exponent that's twice the smallest exponent. So if you have one of those two equations, you have an equation that's quadratic in form. And so we're going to look at some examples on how to solve those. Whenever you have a equa an equation that's quadratic in form, you have to use what's called U substitution. And so let's look at example one and walk through an equation that is quadratic in form. So example one, we want to solve 2x squared minus 3 squared plus 36 times 2x squared minus 3 plus 35 equals 0. Now this almost looks like a quadratic equation because we have something squared plus a number times that same thing plus a number equals 0. So, but it has this additional stuff and I will call this stuff right here additional. That usually we're used to seeing only one variable raised to a number plus a number times that one variable plus a number equal to zero. That's the general form of a quadratic equation. So anytime you have an equation that looks like this, you can actually make it into a quadratic equation by letting u equal this additional stuff. So the first step is you let u equal the additional stuff, the 2x squared minus 3, and then you go back and substitute u in for each of those. So I will substitute u in here and get u squared plus 36, substitute u in here because we let u equal to 2x squared minus 3. And then once I substitute u in, we get a quadratic equation. That is why it's called quadratic in form because if you substitute a variable in to replace that additional stuff, then you end up with a quadratic equation. So now, the next step is to solve this quadratic equation. So this is a quadratic equation, there's no number in front, so you can easily solve this by factoring. Take factors of 35, that means two numbers that multiply to give you 35, that add to give you this middle number of 36. So what are two numbers that multiply to give you 35 but add to give you 36? 35 and 1. 35 times 1 is 35 and 35 plus 1 is 36. So this factors into u plus 35 times u plus 1. And in order to solve it, you take each of these factors and set them equal to 0. So u plus 35 equals 0 and u plus 1 equals 0. Subtract 35 from both sides and you get u equal to negative 35. Subtract 1 from both sides and you get u equal to negative 1. So now we're done solving the quadratic equation, but we're actually not done solving the whole equation because we really want to solve for x. And what we have here is u. So the next step is we need to go back and put the x's back in the equation. And the way we do that is we replace u with what we let it equal. So we let u equal 2x squared minus 3. So we're going to go here and plug that back in for each of these u's. So replace u with 2x squared minus 3. So you're getting u out of the equation and putting x back in it. And you do it with each equation, and then you solve each of those equations for x. So add 3 to both sides here. You get 2x squared equal to negative 32. That's a equal negative 32. Divide both sides by 2. You get x squared equal to negative 16. And in order to get rid of the square, so x squared equal negative 16, you have to take the square root of both sides. Whenever you take the square root of both sides, you have to take the positive and negative square root of both sides. So you get x is equal to plus or minus square root of negative 16. So that's a negative underneath there. Anytime you have a negative underneath the square root, that's i. You pull out the negative and make it an i, and the square root of 16 is 4. So you get plus or minus 4i from this equation. And so now let's work this equation. Add 3 to both sides. 2x squared equal to 2. Divide by 2. You get x squared equal to 1. Take the square root of both sides. Remember, you have to take the positive and negative square root. So you get x is equal to positive and negative 1. So you get four answers total, positive 1, negative 1, positive 4i, and negative 4i.
And so we have solved this equation that's quadratic in form. Again, what did we do? We replaced this extra stuff with u so that we can make it look like a quadratic equation. We solved this quadratic equation. Once we solved for u, we had to go back and put the x in the equation. So replace u with what we let it equal, and then solve for x. Example two, we want to solve 2w to the 2 third equal 3w to the 1 third plus 20. Now this one does not look like a quadratic equation, but this is the second case where the highest exponent is twice the smallest exponent. So what is 1 third times 2? 1 third times 2 is 2 thirds. So our biggest exponent is twice the smallest exponent. So if that's the case, you can also make this one look like a quadratic equation. And how do you do that? This time you let u equal to the variable with the smallest exponent. So you want to let u equal to the variable with the smallest exponent, which is going to be the w to the 1 third. So you let it equal to that variable and the exponent. So if u is equal to w to the 1 third, and if we square both sides, then we get w to the 1 third to the second power. Whenever you have a, a variable raised to an exponent, raised to another exponent, you multiply the exponents, and so you end up getting u squared is equal to w to the 2 third. So u is equal to w to the 1 third, and now u squared is equal to w to the 2 third. And I'm showing you this so that you can know how to substitute u into the equation. So we're going to replace u with w to the 1 third, or we're going to replace w to the 1 third with u, and we're going to replace w to the 2 thirds with u squared. So this equation becomes 2u squared equal to 3u plus 20. And so now it looks like a quadratic equation. Now solve that quadratic equation. So I'm going to move the 3u and the minus 20 over. And you get 2u squared minus 3u minus 20 equals 0. So that's a quadratic equation. You can use the quadratic formula because it works every time. Or you can try to factor here. And of course you can use completing the square if you want to. But I'm pretty sure you probably don't want to. Um, so if I want to factor this, I need to multiply a times c. So a times c is 2 times negative 20, which is negative 40. So I need to take factors of negative 40 that add to that middle number, negative 3. And so factors of negative 40 that add to negative 3, that's going to be negative 8 and 5. Negative 8 times 5 is negative 40. Negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. So this will factor into u minus 8, u plus 5. But because there's a number in front, I have to divide each of these by that number. So this is u minus 4 because 8 divided by 2 is 4. And u plus 5 halves. Take each one of those factors and set them equal to 0. And you get u equal to 4 u plus 5 half equals 0, and you get u equal to negative 5 halves. So again, all we've done so far is we've let u equal to the variable with the smallest exponent, which is w to the 1 third. Since u is equal to w to the 1 third, if I square both sides, u squared is going to be equal to w to the 2 third because you multiply the exponents. So we're going to replace w to the 2 thirds with u squared and w to the 1 third with u. That's what we did. We ended up with this quadratic equation. We solved it. We got u equal to 4 and u equal to negative 5 half. Now, are we finished? No, we're not finished because we're trying to solve for w. So in order to finish solving for w, we got to get rid of the u's and put w back into the equation. So we had u equal to 4 and u equal to negative 5 half. So now, since we substituted u for w to the 1 third, we're going to go back and replace w to the 1 third with u. Or replace u with w to the 1 third. And then we're going to solve each of these equations. So now I actually have an equation with rational exponents. That means fractions. And in order to get rid of those, we have to raise both sides to the reciprocal. So what is the reciprocal of 1 third? The reciprocal of 1 third is 3. That's 3 over 1. So raise both sides to the third power. And here you get w equal to, that's 64. That's 4 times 4, which is 16, times another 4, which is 64. Same thing over here, raise both sides to the third power. You get w is equal to negative 5 halves to the thirds, which is the same as saying negative 5 to the thirds, which is negative 125, over 2 to the thirds, which is 8.
So you get two answers. W is equal to 64, and W is also equal to negative 125 over 8. And so this is how you solve that equation, which is quadratic in form. Okay, now you pause the video for a moment, and I want you to try to solve this equation. It is quadratic in form, so you're going to have to use U substitution. So pause it for a minute and see if you can get it right. So this is the quadratic equation, or it doesn't look like a quadratic equation yet, but this is the case where the highest exponent is twice the smallest exponent. So in this case, you want to let u equal the variable with the smallest exponent. And so if u is equal to d to the one-third, then u squared is equal to d to the one-third squared, which is equal to d to the two-thirds. So this is just so you know that this will end up becoming u squared, and this will end up becoming u. So you end up with 3u squared minus u minus 4 equal to 0. So now you want to solve this quadratic equation. In the form of a quadratic equation now, now you want to solve this quadratic equation. So you could absolutely use the quadratic formula, but this one will actually factor. You want to take factors of 3 times negative 4, which is negative 12, that adds to negative 1. And so that's going to be negative 4 and positive 3. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. This ends up factoring the u minus 4, and you have to divide it by 3 since there's a number in front. And u plus 3 divided by 3. So the 3 comes from that number in front. So you get u minus 4 thirds times u plus 1 equal to 0. Set both of those equal to zero. You get u equal to four thirds and u equal to negative one. Now take each of those, get rid of the u, and insert the d back into the equation because we're trying to solve for d, not u. So replace u with d to the one third because that's what we let it equal. And this is an equation with a rational exponent, and so to solve those types of equations, you have to raise both sides to the reciprocal power. So the reciprocal of 1 over 3 is 3, so raise both sides to the third power. Here you get d is equal to 4 over 3 to the third power, which is the same as saying 4 to the third, which is 64, over 3 to the third, which is 27. So one of your answers is 64 over 27. And then here, you also have to raise both sides to the third power. So you get d is equal to negative 1 to the third, which is negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1. So your second answer would be negative 1. So you end up with two answers, 64 over 27 and negative 1. Did you get that correct? Hopefully you did. I hope you did. If not, go back and see where you made your mistake. And just keep practicing and practicing it, and eventually it will click. you got to keep practicing it, though. Um, if you have any questions about the logistics of any of this, make sure you put them in the comments below. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So keep on pushing. Keep fighting. Don't give up. You can do this. I believe you can do it, but you got to work hard. It's not going to be easy. you got to put the work in. Anything worth having is worth working for. And so keep your end goal in mind. That final degree is what you're trying to get. So keep that in mind as you persist through this course. Thanks again for tuning in.